Okay, in this last segment, we're going to take the basic shapes from the previous example, and we're going to add a much more chromaticized melody. The, again, the, the uh, notes that I'm choosing here are mostly chosen for their gravitational pull toward the destination, and uh, they don't fit into any particular scale except perhaps the chromatic scale. Here we go with 2516 in the key of D using chromatic sounds. The sounds that I'm getting are kind of based around the shape of the chord again. Obviously, that's what we're dealing with here. We have to be able to play the notes in relationship to the chord. The primary thing is to put the chromatic notes on the weaker half of the beat. So if I say one and two and three and four and, then I, you'll notice if you look at the, at the music that there's these chromatic notes which may or may not uh, line up with chord tones. They may not be in the chord specifically. They're on the weaker half, the second part of each beat, so the ands. One and two and three and four and. Now wait, the landing points are always gonna be chord tones. So here's another idea along those lines. <laughs> 